All right, so just so you guys know, there is a Man Cave Tool Store. The link is in the description below. You can get a hat, shirt, hoodie, long sleeve shirts, mugs, stickers, and a whole assortment of stuff. So please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Alrighty, so today, what we are gonna do is we are gonna find out again. Now, I already did a video of this. I'll put the video right here. We are going to revisit the black battery versus gray battery. We are gonna see why Ryobi is pushing the black battery for the past, I'd say, eight months, and they're out there pretty much getting rid of the gray. So it just appears to me that Ryobi is pushing the black battery. I've been saying this since the uh, so before the Black Friday sale last year of 2019. And so it's 2020 now uh, in July, and we are going to find out why they're pushing the black battery and pretty much getting rid of the gray battery. So I do not know why, but uh, I did do this before, and there might be a power difference between the two, but we are going to find out with a couple of tasks, with a couple of different tools to see why they are. So we are going to be using the Ryobi P238. No need to go over the specs because this is not a versus video. And we are going to be using the P251. Both brushless tools. Both of these tools are awesome. Like I said in previous videos, I do not know why they are pushing brushed tools. This is the direction they needed to go in. And that they should have made these ones better. That's what every other company is doing. So they might as well do the same. We are also going to be using the brushless recip saw. This is model number P517. And so this is an awesome saw. I abuse the crap out of this. So it's probably a little worn out for the past, uh, I'd say two years since I got it. And yeah, so like, yeah, just remember some of these tools I have are two years old and I've been using them since like for my main tools. And so, yeah, it's like some of these tools are, are, are a little worn out. So. It is not a brand new one. It still works. There's no reason to replace it, but we're, we are going to see what the difference in uh, differences in power. And remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. Pack out system with everything in it that I need. For the impact driver, we are going to be using six inch lags. Collet is push in, which is a good feature. All right, so battery is full on the black battery and the battery is full on the gray we're going to use the gray battery first we're, we're going to put it on the same ring right here is good it's on speed three all right so ready go That is the gray battery. Battery is still full after that one. Oh, sorry, and we are gonna take it out. No, we'll take it out together. Okay, we got the black battery, battery is full. Do it sort of next to it, right there. On the same ring. All right, so ready, go. All right, so let's take with the gray battery, take the gray battery's lag out. All right, so ready, go. All time. Time for the black battery. Black battery is model number P197 and the gray battery is P108. So ready, go. Time. That, uh, see, 
Ryobi is capable of easily driving in six inch lags. That's, give Ryobi credit, you guys. Ryobi's capable of doing that. The, only, the main thing that I have issues with this is this impact driver is loud. Ryobi does make a variable trigger only with no speed settings. This one's model number P239. And so, yeah, this one's brushless as well. That works with the HP system. All right, so that is the test for the, for the uh, impact driver. All righty, for this test, we are going to use a one and a half inch Bosch spade bit. We are going to use speed one, not speed two. Click back one more to lock. All right, so with speed one, it is on drill. Battery is still full on the, oh, we're doing the gray battery first. Battery is still full. All right, right here should be good. We're using speed one. All right, so ready, go. That is time. Take it out. Easily. All right, the battery is at still full bars. Let's do the black battery. Right here should be good. All right, so ready? Go. Time, time, time. Let's take it out. All right, so the battery is still full. All right, so what we are going to do is use a gray battery. We are going to do a three quarter inch hole. This is a Milwaukee drill bit. We are going to use speed two, it's on drill, battery is full. We're going to do three holes individually, but I'm going to time them together. All right, so ready, go. One, two, one more. All right, so uh, keep note, all three holes stopped. Uh, this drill stopped doing all three holes. Let's see if the drill stops while using the black battery. The black battery is full. All right, so ready, go. Black battery did not stop. That's right, so ready, go. Black battery stopped on one hole. And ready, Go. Okay, the black battery stopped on a single hole when the gray battery stopped on all three holes. Next, we are going to do the Ryobi brushless recip saw. Locked into place. We are going to use orbital feature. Gray battery first. Let's see what this can do. We are going to use the same blade for both batteries. So the blade is used. So, all right, so ready, go. All right, that's orbital feature. Let's do the black battery. Both are still full, by the way. Both batteries are still full. All right, so ready, go. All right, 
All right, let's do the final, final test. All right, and remember the brushless system is, has more power with the HP batteries. These are regular batteries, so. All right, so ready, go. And last cut with the black battery. All right, so ready, go. Time. This, this really is a good recip saw. You know, it might not be the fastest, it might not be the most powerful, but this will do most jobs. And I've been using this for about two years so far, so not all the time because I spread that work throughout other recip saws, but it, it still does a pretty good job. Alrighty, so I do not know what the test results are. I find that out during the editing of the video, so if there is a difference, uh, then there it is. Uh, I, why Ryobi went with the black batteries instead of the 3 amp hour HP batteries is beyond me. So, so the HP batteries make the brushless tools more powerful when the, uh, the chip senses that it's struggling. It sucks up more juice from the HP battery and it lets the tool perform even better. And so why, they, uh, why aren't they doing HP battery kits anymore? I do not know. Uh, they, they're majorly pushing the black, uh, black batteries for, uh, like I said, since last, the end of last year. And so the gray batteries are being phased out. The black batteries are coming in. Now, some people say that the black batteries used to be the original new lithium ion batteries. So they just brought them back for some reason. I do not know if they modified them to be better or more efficient, or if they're just the same packaging as they were last year or, or a few years ago. But I ho hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. Please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.